A two-year-old falls to his death out an apartment window, and tonight, as police investigate, we are giving you a look inside those apartments and what that window might have looked like. We're also hearing about a possible complaint involving the family. Liz Gillardi joins us live at that apartment complex near Colorado and Mississippi. Liz? And a candle lit tonight for that little boy. Police do not know if this was an accident or case of neglect, but they're trying to figure out how a two-year-old fell out of an apartment window when other adults were inside. I started hear hearing um, screams. That's when I looked out the window and saw little kids running and screaming people running and just really bad screams. Those screams told this resident something was horribly wrong. Then she looked outside. Really bad. A two-year-old fell out of a six-floor window around 2.40 this afternoon. It happened at the Mint Urban Apartments where we got a look inside to see what that window may have looked like. If you have something like a bed or something, it's easily reachable. I talked with a tipster who told me they put in an anonymous complaint to police last week to report possible abuse. We checked with Denver police to see if they had any complaints on record or responded to the home, but a spokesperson couldn't give us an answer tonight. You could see investigators in the top floor window. As of right now, they aren't ruling anything out. Not sure if this was an accident or neglect. At this point in time, it's what we're looking into. We know the boy's mother, her roommate, and others, including children, were inside the apartment when the boy fell. Police say a passerby called 911. My, uh, you know, condolence go out to the family and uh, friends that are out there. This is a very tragic event. It is indeed, and we are going to continue to ask police if they know anything about that tip that came into us that possibly there was a report of alleged abuse here. But tonight, the apartment complex is offering their condolences to the family. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.